and said the Holy Spirit must come in and kill or strike out that old nature. But if you left man in his condition, there's no man. Jesus told us, you know, it's not what goes in a man that defiles him, it's what comes out. Then he begins to talk about the condition of man's heart. And he said, from there proceeds all of these wicked things. The answer to fallen man is not more religion. The answer to fallen man is not for us to start some reformation. The answer to fallen man is somehow that heart that's away from God, separate from God, can be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when it is, that heart will be blessed to see God. Now, when I first thought of pure, in the purest sense of pure. There's nobody as pure as God. That's right. So pure, this is, this is incredible, that the prophet of God said even the angels seem dirty in his sight. Yes. That's how pure he is. God is holy. He's just, he's righteous. And not only think those words really do justice of who he is. But the condition of somebody's heart will determine whether they're able to see God. Yes. Now, the old fisherman was paddling his boat with his oars as everything fresh, the rain had just washed the dust off. It was a lovely time. And only a man who uses his oars can appreciate that rhythm of tipping the oars as the boat glides its way through the water and the white beard hanging down and he kept watching the rainbow. The little boy enthused looked around to see the old gentleman was looking at it, and he noticed the old fisherman crystal tears dropping off his white beard. The little boy sitting in the bow of the boat became so enthused till he rushed towards the stern of the boat and said to the old fisherman, Sir, I'm going to ask you a question that my mother, nor my Sunday school teacher, nor my pastor could satisfy my longing to know something. He said, What is it, son? He said, Can anyone see God? The old fisherman, so overcome by the little fellow's question, pulled the oars into the boat, threw his arms around the little boy and tears running down his cheeks. He said, God bless your little heart, honey. All I've seen for the past 50 years has been God. Amen. Yeah, see, you can get, listen now, brother man, you can get so much God on the inside that you can see him anywhere you look. See, but until that desire to see him, you won't see him. You know why? He can be all around you and you don't recognize him because your heart's not longing to see him. And so the prophet says, you can see him in the sunset. You can hear him in the call of the bird. You can watch him everywhere. He's on every hand. But the old man got so much God, listen, inside of him, he could see God everywhere. And I think that's the kind of the way we ought to look for God. We can see him anywhere we look. You know what shocks me? Everybody can see the devil everywhere. People can find fault everywhere. Everywhere they look, they see fault. Fault in this one, fault in that one, fault out there. Fault. You know what tells me? There's something lacking in here. But you get enough God down on the inside of you, you'll start seeing God in everywhere you look. Amen. I'd like us to change what we're looking at, yes, what we're seeing. But that'll only happen when man's heart has been changed. Only men that's pure in their heart can see God. Amen. 